What is up, everybody? I am back for my second Marvel Strike Force video. Uh, the first one I did was Silver Surfer with the Symbiotes, which was a fantastic setup. And now I'm doing uh, Silver Surfer with the Asgardians. And as you see here, I am fighting against the Magneto um, Brotherhood team. This team is phenomenal, by the way. I just want to say the Magneto teams are always a team that I have a hard time battling with. I don't think I've ever really won an actual battle against uh, a Magneto team. So, uh, to be honest with you, when I started this, I didn't think I was going to win this. I'm not even, even going to lie. I was kind of going to go through the motions. Didn't think I was going to win. But as you see, as the, as the battle goes on, I'm kind of like, okay, you know what? Uh, I actually have a chance here. And then kind of, kind of, you know, start uh, targeting things appropriately. But yeah, it was uh, it was interesting to see. So, um, Asgardians are my top team. Asgardians are my top team. I am a free-to-play player. Uh, other than buying Silver Surfer, uh, which I have no regrets. Silver Surfer is one of those characters. He's been a, fa a favorite character of mine growing up. Uh, I was born in the 80s. So, uh, you know, Silver Surfer, and, and, and it was just really neat to see in the game. And uh, I couldn't pass up on this. So as a free-to-play player, this is the first player I've ever bought. And the, and, the, and the offer was too good to be true. I couldn't I couldn't pass this up. 20 bucks for Silver Surfer. Uh, yeah, for sure. I, I definitely uh, couldn't say no to that. And, and, and he is absolutely such a phenomenal game-changing character. Uh, even at three stars, he, he can hang with the big boys at three stars, which is just fantastic. So I'm curious to see what he's going to be like at six, seven red stars. Um it's just going to be insane to see. I've seen him already do over 200,000 damage, uh, which is just insane. Um, yeah, I think the meta is changing. I think I think the game is changing. I think the way they want to see it play is changing. Because right now there's a couple of, of teams that kind of choke the game. You know, uh, you know, if you come up against a certain team, you don't have a chance. I think they want to break that. I think they want to bring in new teams, new, new characters that are going to break that. The problem with that, though, is it's going to make so many other teams even more obsolete. Um, but you know, it is a business at the end of the day and they know what they're doing. So here we go. And we walked through this, this, uh, team, which I was very, very surprised about, uh, very easily, easily done. Now here we're coming up against a, a symbiote team. Now I'm going to tell you something. Uh, the Asgardians usually don't stand a chance against the symbiotes. You guys, if you play the game, you already know, uh, the symbiotes are just too fast. And with the, with everything, with the dots and the deep, everything, it's just the heels. It's just too much for, for an Asgardian team. Um, so I had no expectation to win this one as well i was just playing this i was going to go through the motions um you know the, the symbiote team is just phenomenal such a good team which actually if you guys want to watch the first video i made with my silver surfer i did silver surfer with the symbiote team i took venom out put silver surfer in and it was just that team was fun it was just too hard to beat it was too hard to beat with with you know all the heels and the speed and, and silver surfer flipping things it was just insane um really 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 good setup i mean it's obviously not the meta just as this this with the as guardians is not the meta as well i just like to have fun with things i am a free-to-play player i don't have all the big you know dr doom and doc ock and and phoenix i don't have those i don't have those yet um i have beaten dark dimension 2 i'm not even in dark dimension 3 yet i have one uh, t13 player which is my anti-venom and that's it so i i i'm uh i'm an early to mid i guess i'd say more early game player uh, and I'm having fun with it. So, yeah, anyway, here we walk through the uh, Symbiote team with ease. Very surprised on that. Um, but, yeah, very happy for that. Anyway, so the thing with the with, with Silver Surfer and the Asgardians is Silver Surfer and Hela. That's the combo right there. Silver Surfer and Hela because Silver Surfer flips things. He he uh, turns positive to negatives or blah, 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 all that stuff. And Hela spreads it. So it's a huge and really, really, really good combination. Really good combination. Um, and I love it. Now, obviously, there's other, you know, I would take out a couple of these as guardians and put in different characters. Maybe put uh, Zemo in there or the dad bros in there. Um, you know, if I was putting a real team together. But, I mean, you know, like I said, I'm just having fun with it. I like to do stuff like this. Uh, again, I did the first one was with my Symbiote team. The second one was with my Silver Surfer team. Or, sorry, with the, with the Asgardian team. And I'm going to try them with different teams as we go on and just kind of have some fun with this. So um, it's not to take anything too serious. I'm just having some fun with it. Okay. So here's the thing, guys. We had a, an offer for Silver Surfer. It was uh, 55 shards for 20 bucks. Okay. That offer was too good to be true. I had to eat it up. I had to take it because, again, I grew up uh, as a Silver Surfer fan. He's, I knew he's going to be one of the great uh, characters in the game. For 20 bucks. it can really shoot you ahead in the game a little bit. Why not, right? Why not? So I went ahead. I bit, I bit on it, and I bought it. Uh, and I have no regrets. I have no regrets whatsoever. 
but then Scopely goes and makes a new offer, I guess a day or two later, where it's now 50 or 60 bucks for 60 shards. Um, that is absolutely ridiculous. And there are so many people upset, and rightfully so. Rightfully so. Um, how can they charge 50 bucks? for a character like how can they do that after that you know anyway after they just did it for 20 bucks i get it it's a business i know what they're doing they're you know they, they know what they, they know what they have you handcuffed and everyone wants this character so what they basically do here is like they give you a little tease they sell them to you for 20 bucks and you're like oh wow this character is so good which he is he is definitely a top three i would say character in the game uh and you get that little taste of him at three stars and you see how good he is at three stars so they put that little carrot in front of you, right? They dangle that carrot in front of your face saying, yo, look how good this character is. And then they go ahead, they take that offer away, they put in 60 more shards, and they double the price because they know you're going to bite on it. Now, someone like me who is a free-to-play player, I won't bite on that, but a lot of people will. They know that. They say, yo, if this character is this good at three stars, I have to get him maxed out. I have to get him to seven stars. And people will pay. You'd be surprised how many people will pay uh, all that money to get him to seven stars. And I guess, listen, if you want to compete and want to be the best in the game, um, I mean, you're, you're pretty much going to have to do this. So um, here we fought an X-Men team. And, uh, you know, it wasn't anything too crazy. It was a pretty easy walk. It was a pretty easy walk through this team. Uh, no problems at all. I mean, it was kind of like a mix match team. Um, there was Iceman, there was no Bishop in there, you know, whatever. So actually this one's an interesting one. We are, fi we are fighting a Asgardian team with a 40,000 punch up. Okay. So I'm fighting, I'm using the Asgardians. I took out Hamdal and I put in Silver Surfer. They're using a full Asgardian team and they're, it's a 40,000 power, uh, punch up, uh, stronger team than mine. Okay. So this is interesting to see. This is interesting to see because it's the exact same team I'm using. I'm taking out one of the, the, the the characters putting in my silver surfer and i'm fighting the full team so anyway it's interesting to see how it plays out and it's a stronger team as well um but i want to know who here bought silver surfer who here is planning on buying the 60 dollars pack uh i myself think that's just i can't justify it i can't justify it i am a free-to-play player again i can't justify spending 60 bucks for a star to start my character once um you know they are doing a battle pass uh, apparently the way they say they're going to do it is you're going to be able to get silver surfer for free if you go the free route on the on the battle pass but there is going to be a premium route to go as well um and who knows how much it's going to be right now here's the thing here's where people are upset we have a real-time arena uh battle pass for whatever it is 20 bucks 25 bucks whatever it is now they're adding a second battle pass i don't know too many games i don't know any games to be honest with you that have two separate battle passes you know a battle pass for real-time arena which not too many people like not too many people are happy with a real-time arena uh and then they're gonna have a strike pass another battle pass you buy uh to basically unlock silver surfer now i get it they these guys understand scope understands that they need to milk this they know that this is a character people are going to open their wallets for and they understand that and they know so they're going to put as many ways in there uh to get people to open up their wallets and and i don't blame them in a way because it is a business and they're not going to give a character like silver surfer out for free not a chance no way they're going to do this now here i'm fighting a team um a lot of tanks in it but it's a 100k punch up um so i just wanted to just show you guys how this played out you know you got hulk 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 to me is a is a troublesome character man it's a it's a character that can really change the battle depending on 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 how strong he is and stuff and how many stars and stuff but he is a, he's annoying he's an annoying player to battle annoying character to battle um because he's just so tanky he's so tanky and when he's usually with captain america you know they they trade taunts and stuff and um you know i, I don't know he's, he's just uh i find he can he can he's either easy to walk through or he's a he's a really hard character depending on the setup but uh yeah anyway so this is just a 100k punch up it's not a crazy team or anything but i just wanted to show you this fight um either way so to go back to the battle pass uh silver surfer uh these guys got to make money on him and they know it this is these are there's some characters that people are going to bite on there's some characters people are going to be like you know i don't even care for it don't care don't need it don't care silver surfer is one of those characters that everybody wants everybody needs and they know that so they're gonna make as much money as they can off of him and it makes sense i mean it's a, again it's a business this is a business first and foremost i understand it upsets a lot of their their player base 
but they know, they see the stats, they understand, they know even if you're upset, you cannot keep your wallet closed for this offer. You can't. I myself as a free to play player bought this offer and they're targeting everybody. Usually a lot of these offers they put out target, you know, the spenders and all that, uh, you know, the spenders, the whales, the krakens, whatever you want to call them. Usually those are the ones that are targeted when they come out with, you know, these things. Silver Surfer is targeted to everybody and I'm telling you they're going to make a fortune off of this a fortune off of uh silver surfer alone and they know it they know it uh here's another battle with an asgardian team um again you know these are nothing i'm just trying to show you guys uh you know same team on same team so here's the thing when i do these i you know i never know who i'm gonna i'm gonna face what teams i'm gonna battle what's going on uh it's real time arena so i basically queue up my team another person you know anywhere in the world queues up theirs and we meet in the arena and whatever players they use now here's the thing with the real time arena i know a lot of people have a hard time with it they don't like it they don't enjoy it and i i'm i mean i'm with you i'm with you i'm with you um the only time i use the real time arena is when i do this this stuff here because i find this part fun now i was talking about this in my last video i think what they need to do for real time arena is make it where if you want to be competitive and put some real teams like what i'm doing i mean it's not even a real team but you know what i mean uh you could queue this way if you just want to get your tasks done or something you know like use this character that you don't even have leveled up go this route you know i think they need to do something about it because i know a lot of people are upset with um you know real-time arena and and i don't blame them and it's not it's not it's not the most fun i feel like it's just a chore to go in and do all your things and and uh, i feel you guys on that but i'll tell you one thing i have been finding a lot of fun with it once i started doing this so you got to find what you know what makes you happy and this is one of those things that made me happy with it so uh anyways guys that was another battle with the eyes guardians and this is my video this is my second video i do plan on doing more guys so if this is something you enjoy um please hit that follow button hit that like button and uh, let me know what you think let me know what you want to see is there any teams you want to see i also do stream on twitch guys uh twitch.tv slash capone gaming come by say what's up and meet the community I'm out of here. Peace.